for students where one line, one colour of wool, the blue actually, was uh, representing them, their self-identity. The red was representing the future, possible selves, how they want to become more creative. And the multi-coloured uh, one, which is a smaller, finer thread, line of flight, which is a Guattari and, and Deleuze term, line of flight, is actually about the challenges of bioeconomy and how we could share them. Are some of the activities. I'm going to move on to say, when we're looking at creative learning, this is one way of looking at the model. You know, as an academic, we have to put models up, don't we? I've had three careers. My first was in creative industries. My second was working in primary and secondary schools. I want an experience of across education sectors. And then my third career is in university at Cambridge. And I am Australian, been in, in the UK for 20 years. So maybe all of that comes together, it does, to, as the composite of how I think. What's your model? If you were to draw what creative learning looks like to you, would they be the terms possibility, play, and this thing called creative learning. What happens when these things intersect? Another way of saying it is the enactment of play and possibility. And this is what happened over the last two days. It was all about play, serious play, serious experimentation and possibility. So yesterday I asked, put your first day, put your hands up if you're creative. Interestingly, no hands immediately went into the air. And I said, have another think. Who makes stuff? Who creates stuff? Who has put an assemblage of clothes on today? You know, authoring how you want to look today, every day, creativity. So I'll ask again, who thinks of themselves as creative? Four boys. Yeah, I am. The girls. No hands in the air. There's a gender thing operating. So we were trying to unpack, why is it that we think like that? How was that sold to us? When did we start thinking we're not creative? Think about yourself. I'm not going to ask you to put your hands up, but what would you do? And what do you think about this idea of being creative? What does it mean to you and how do you enact it? How did you do it today? You've done, you've made many decisions, you've solved many problems today, many problems already. So these activities engaged the mind. I am dot, 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 not yet, which speaks volumes. We, we're not the same as we were a year ago, six months ago, three months ago. We're constantly changing, evolving, growing. And that's not always an easy thing to, to get your colleagues to come with you. You know, if you lead from the front and drag people along, that's not going to work. It, the newness can be bringing the old and something different or patching two things together creates a new take. So troubling these words, every one, risk taking, hugely important. You know, to what extent, if you were to take, you know, some of those concepts, do you think, if you had a t-shirt, in my lectures, in my teaching, these are, these are the quality. I'm a possibility thinker. You know, would it be that or would it be I am into doing something new. There wasn't a sound. And I thought if I'd seen that when I was in primary school, if I'd seen the performance of mathematics, who knows what I would have become? Possibly an astronaut. I don't know. But I'd be different because maths was never performed. Now, after that conference, I've, cha I've changed. I see maths everywhere. It's up there. It's here. It's with all these lines. It's certainly embedded in this, you know, it, it's, it's, it's sort of entangled over there. Um, but, you know, I see it in the dresses and the clothes and the patterns that you've got on. 
So why not get a bit of real world kind of uh, enactment engagement? What's the relevance of a maths equation? What else does it look like? Those buildings, those tiles are the performance of mathematics because they're all beautiful patterns. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful city. It brings sciences and arts together beautifully. This is a school where the children, one child took apart his old uh, desktop and repurposed it. And look what he chose to repurpose, nature. So nature, culture are much closer. In fact, some people are writing those words together, no space, nature, culture. They're not different. So where am I going with this? I hope you can sort of see. I came from a day of working with teachers just the day before I, I, I came to Avira. And we were doing professional development. Look how they're playing. Look what they're playing with. Materials, with each other, with all sorts of metaphors, symbolism, and engaging in the environment, the awareness, waking up, doing some deep observations, deep hangouts out there, not in here, out there. You could say, well, yeah, but you've got to do theory and then they can do the applied in the practice. Actually, why can't they do the theory and the practice together? Why? Why can't they do both together? The performance of theory and the, this amazing space. Have you taken your students out there? If you haven't, make a pledge. <laughs> make a pledge. Or do an away day. Well, here's an idea. Here's a big idea. Do an away day with the staff and go rowing with them. You know, and hopefully you'll fall in. It'll be a lovely experience. You'll save each other. There'll be, you know, the heroes and there'll be those that are, ah, oh, go and do it. And those that help each other. A kind of collaborative building thing. So, in other words, I'm going to finish with this. This is a big idea. And uh, this is, if you Google mymachine.com, you'll come up with this, dreaming big, thinking big. This blew my mind. I've only just recently been introduced to this, and it's really this guy, Piet, a managing director of this global foundation, wants kids to know, children to know, that they can have and should have ideas, and those ideas matter and they can make a difference. Well, how did he do this? Well, we go to the university, oh, mm, they're too busy. Well, this is not what he thought. Think problem solving, thinking how the problems in each stage would have been progressions to a higher level of problem solving and a higher level of use of technology into generational work. Last Our world is about...